What is up, everybody? It's easy. Let's go back and look at that for a second. <laughs> Sorry. You know if she's looking away like that, then you're definitely doing something wrong. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so, don't know what the result of the war is yet. We still had a couple of attacks left when I started recording. Didn't get to watch every attack, so I'm not even sure exactly how everything goes. Uh, so, we'll, we'll just take it as it goes. First attack was by Om. He did, uh, this, this, we call this the flex, very close to the slap, only difference is, is that you'll use Valkyries in the flex, uh, in this application here, and normally with the flex we'd use two bowler walks, but instead, or a bowler walk and a queen walk, but he used the uh, witches, which, uh, witches are pretty nasty, uh, when you have three healers on them, just, <laughs> I think we all know that by now. Uh, he jump, jumps into the core, got a bunch of bowlers in the core, the queen still has her ability, the king still has his ability, so by the time he gets to the back end, he still has about 8 or 10 bowlers, he's still got the golem up somewhere, he's got all of his healers alive still, uh, the ones down bottom are just now starting to take damage, he's got the witches wiping everything out in the top left, so this is a total, total landslide rolled base, which this makes every attack he's done. <laughs> So another good attack by Alm. Um, he manages to make it in pretty much every video I've done for the past, I don't know, two months. Which, yes, I'm still making videos because I got over myself with the Engineer Clans. Doing much better. Now, we had both of our accounts in this, this uh, war that are not completely even. And honestly, I think it was worth it, this war, I'd say. Yeah, every time now just so you guys know if you if you have a 0.5 clan you are going to have to deal with either stronger clans or other clans that are engineered and you know the engineer clans may not be now this is excellent camera work right here this is the equivalent of cutting off their heads <laughs> I won't I won't edit that out so you can see how stupid I can be this is too easy this now I know this attack because I did it this attack went down to where we took out the last building literally with one second left or maybe five seconds left something like that pretty scary had two attacks that went like that today and with the way that the heroes are they can really make or break you but the, the best part of this attack starts right now use again use the witches on, on both walks so we have witches up top three healers witches on the, on the um, top right top left so those are three witches, three healers. Now we end up having a bunch of bowlers transition down with those witches down there on the, on the top right. Uh, all the bowlers went to the core, so we had a good funnel that happened. And as soon as they all went to the core, uh, put, a, put a rage spell on the core to, to lead them into the core. Uh, jumped on the back side of the core, used a rage spell on the back side. Now a couple of more bowlers kind of caught up with the first ones. And by the time, I think they end up hitting a giant bomb right here, that, that wipes them out. But by the time that happens, you, I still had witches up top, have a big cluster of witches, the queen, and um, a giant black part of the horse screen. That's nice. Uh, <laughs> so, oh yeah, I have some cool stuff on the on the website, just uh, to break for a second. Um, been doing a blog. I have another website that I managed to, but been doing the blog, and uh, this one, the, the last one was really cool. If you haven't ever checked them out before, this is this is one you might want to check out. Uh, the, the blog was on uh, Supercell and the relationship that they have with their currency system and how similar it is to the new currency, the digital uh, cryptocurrency. So something else I'm following. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, so anyway, left it left a, a pretty manageable strip normally this is this is no problem you take out all the you take out the rest of the these buildings with the with the queen walk with the witches you know have enough troops there problem was is that I have this Tesla and right behind uh, a storage 
So that means if I have if I have if I end up with low troops, then the Tesla's going to be pinging off them while they're trying to get to the storage. Move it up a little bit here, but did manage to break through. Had some good timing. Had a couple of witches, uh, wizard, queen, just everything. Just managed to stay to the last second. Did have some skeletons pop up, pop up, and you know right now that this clock is is the replay clock, but the actual clock read like nine seconds. So I didn't know until I was actually on the Tesla with four seconds left or something that it was okay. And yes, after all these years, it's still nerve-wracking to break it down to the last couple seconds in an attack. Okay, this is my command and hero. And he, he likes to start off a, a very similar way with most of his attacks. Uh, he'll start off with an entire wall. That's how he funnels the troops in, into the base. So he cleans out that whole bottom left-hand side of the wall. At that point, the troops have nowhere to go but in. So he gets all the troops to funnel into the core. And at this point, he has the majority of the troops in the actual core going towards the, like the center part of it. And the rest of them are kind of going around that bottom part uh, towards the right with the queen with them too. And uh, when you have a group of bowlers, witches with the queen in there and you don't have to use her ability... And they all managed to this don't just ignore me when I do this stupid shit. <laughs> uh, that this totally broke my concentration. <laughs> yeah, when you have a big group of, of bowlers, witches with the queen right in the middle of it, that you know that you, you're doing good because you don't have to use her ability. The witches are are putting out all these skeletons that are distracting the defenses. So you have the bowlers, which are uh, you know individually. They, they don't do that much damage, but when you have three or four of them together, um, they can take out two buildings with one, they can one shot two buildings uh, with four of them together. So whenever you have a group of four or five together, you know, it's a real, real beneficial thing for your attack. And now you, you see the witches that had, the witches are coming around the outside, there's just a bunch of skeletons that's distracting all the troops, all the uh, defenses. The queen's finally, I think, making her way. Is she still alive? No, I think she died. Alright, well the queen's not alive. <laughs> Well, the king makes it through the end <laughs> and uh, takes out the last couple defenses. Another great attack. Hero's another uh, player that he's been getting six packs almost every war. Just transitioned to Town Hall 10 not too long ago and didn't suffer through it like I did. So this was my second attack and this base is a prime example of what a real strength for a base is. There's no Eagle Artillery, there is no Inferno Towers. We attack this base eight times by competent, competent attacks. But what happened every single time was they, we didn't take into consideration well enough. And I just had to show off the, the Earthquake because I usually blow those. But I, I, this time I actually got all eight uh, walls which opened up the whole base. And that's the one thing I did differently is I used the earthquake to break open all those walls and then I, I saved a, a jump spell for the back end and uh, my official apology for the last thing. So I saved the jump for the back end and uh, you know you, you'd think that at Town Hall 11, <laughs> why do I do this? At Town Hall 11, if you're attacking another Town Hall 11 that doesn't have Infernal Towers, that doesn't have the Eagle Artillery, that this is going to be a no-brainer, you're going to definitely blow right through it. That's not the way this base played out with everyone else. Luckily, I did get to watch eight, <laughs> eight attacks. Well, I didn't watch them all, but... Uh, so anyway, plan to, plan to funnel everything into that one, uh, that one compartment. Had a, had a wall breaker fail, which kind of panicked me for a second. But the, the bowlers did not decide to roam away. They broke through the wall on their own, got everything into the core, uh, saved the jump for that back end, which actually put all the all those troops, instead of having to, to break through that, that's where everyone else's attacks ended, was breaking through those that last section of wall. Uh, got to use the, the warden's ability, and they jumped over the wall. I think that's what made this attack work. Um, also, there was a... A strategic change before I attacked what I had was 25 bowlers but I had accidentally made like 12 wall breakers so I decided to dump six wall breakers and two bowlers and I replaced them with uh, two witches and the two witches not only did I live the whole attack but the witches skeletons actually will come around and polish off the, the rest of this base 
So what a huge difference it, uh, the two troops make. Uh, you know, I traded two, two witches, which now they're going to shoot at a wall for the next half hour. But got to trade two witches for two bowlers, basically, and, and some wall breakers. And uh, and as you can see now, the skeletons have, have come around the entire base. That's, they just take out that one building, the second building, the warden follows the skeletons. That could have worked out a lot differently. The queen could have picked the wrong, ball, wrong wall. And Creeps was the rock star in this one for sure. This is Weppa. Starts off real good too. Starts off by... He, he wants to pull the clan castle troops. So he puts in five. And this tells you... Dedicate five... Uh, five balloons to pull in the clan castle. That's 25 troops. That's not... I mean, you, you might think that's a lot. Uh, but he took out four defenses. Including an air defense. And he pulls the clan castle troops. And, so that was huge. That, that made this entire attack. With... Other than the one other thing that we'll, you'll see in a second. So, also, <laughs> and th this is something that I bitch about other people doing, but we have two guys, Wep is one, and um, we won't mention the other, that have bases that don't have the, the elite defenses that ended up being way down. With no, the walls aren't upgraded, you know, this, they just something to combat the engineer clans. We ended up, uh, Wep has set him, sit, sits, I'll, I'll say it, sits himself most of the time. Check out this ability, that that wins, th that's what's going to take this attack. That ability was so perfectly timed, it takes out everything in the core, and at this point, uh, I don't know if you noticed it, but there was one puff by an air sweeper that literally pushed the balloons over four different defenses. So just some bad luck in his part too. And the last thing too, as far as uh, Matty here, He's got a base that's on the internet. As good as this base is, everyone has seen it, everyone's attacked it. I don't know how many times Wep has attacked this exact base and 3 star it, but I, I, granted when you're in war and it's a number one player, that adds extra pressure, but he's played so long, it doesn't affect him like most people anyway, I don't think, like it does me. <laughs> uh, so, really makes it look easy. I mean, damn, look at it. No. <laughs> And the fact he's number 16, you know, when it, it's, it doesn't hurt as bad when you're doing it to them. Um, but it, this is a problem that we didn't create, and we hate having to do this. We hate having to have engineered accounts in the clan. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. This is fun for me to make. So, uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Sub to the channel, please. We need a thousand subs to, to be able to advertise. A thousand. It's hard enough to get a hundred. <laughs> right, take care, everybody. It's been easy. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. If I have a total net worth, and now with the increase, it'll be well over $10 billion. But here, a total net worth of $8 billion. Net worth, not assets, not liability. A net worth. I'm not doing that to brag, because you know what? I don't have to brag. I don't have to. Believe it or not. I'm really, 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 really,